We had some blurry video of a suspect sort of prowling on the property of some neighbors. This is a case of a stolen vehicle. The suspect wearing a face mask briefly walks in front of the camera. A gray colored sedan ends up getting stolen, then abandoned in some driveway. Woodland police later arrest a man on an unrelated warrant. We were able to determine that suspect from the blurry video stealing the vehicle was in fact the person we arrested on the warrant based upon an analysis of his cell phone they found that his cell phone connected to the Bluetooth headphones that were stolen out of that stolen vehicle. It's all in a day's work at the Yolo County District Attorney's high-tech crime lab. It's just one of two accredited forensic labs at a DA's office in the state, and among only five in the entire country. They must meet hundreds of international standards in digital forensic work. District Attorney Jeff Reisick calls it among his greatest accomplishments as DA. He actually started a unit within the DA's office that's solely dedicated to examining those digital items for forensic evidence in all types of cases, murder, rape, robbery, property crimes, whatever it is, we have a unit right here in this office that's staffed by investigators, peace officers who are trained in forensic analysis, who can do the work. We've literally solved cases through discoveries we've made in our forensic unit that would have never been solved without that evidence. Woodland Police Senior Detective Mark Goikovich says it's a privilege to be able to work closely with the DA's crime lab, which does the work in-house. With this high-tech unit, we're able to resolve cases within months, and they don't need to endure the trauma and uh, relive these crimes that they were victimized in for so long. The crime lab's manager, John Sedlowski, says many of the cases they investigate include crimes against children. We had a um, suspect had actually destroyed most of his devices, but I was able to piece together what was on his phone based on what was on his computer. And these are hidden artifacts that he didn't even know he was creating. And he had created folders that were on his phone or now in a artifact on his computer that he named specifically about molesting a little girl. Did he try to fight it in court or was this something that he pled to because of all the evidence? He actually ended up pleading guilty. The high-tech lab handles around 140 felony cases annually. Out of those cases, they've processed around 400 pieces of digital evidence. The majority of those cases ended with an arrest. It is fulfilling because I know we are making a difference in most criminal cases we touch. In Yolo County, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.